right, well tell us your name please. My name is Joshua Harden. And what character are you playing? I play Sergeant Carlino. Can you tell us a little bit about Sergeant Carlino? Sure. Sergeant Carlino is one of the two bad guys. Um, and he's uh, probably the least intelligent of the bad guys, <laughs> kind of dumb, um, just got out of prison. Um, he might have a slight um, overeating issue. <laughs> he's gained some weight recently, doesn't feel very good about himself. Um, anyway, that's... So he takes it out on the poor blind woman. Right, yes, he takes it out on the blind people. <laughs> so what made you audition for the show? Oh, I was uh, just looking for something fun to do. Okay, so. okay. Um, now you guys have been in rehearsal for a little while. Do you have any interesting little rehearsal stories? Good, bad? Oh, um, you know, we're using a, a, a lot of... Uh, like makeshift um, <laughs> things to stand in the place of various appliances. Mm -hmm. So I think we have a rotary saw, <laughs> which is supposed to be the refrigerator. <laughs> of course. Sure. Uh, right, you know. Um, and, um, you know, so it's just like uh, any play where up until the time where you actually have everything in place, there's so a you lot actually of get over to the art center. A yeah. lot of imagination goes yeah. into. Uh, have you ever seen the movie or the stage play of Wait Until Dark before? I have. I watched it right before uh, audition. So. Okay. So how do you, the movie? I'm guessing. The movie. Right? Yeah. And how does that compare with this particular production, plot-wise, character-wise? What do you think? I think it's very similar, okay. actually. Um, the uh, it's probably doing the play is a little bit more challenging. In some respects, a little bit more challenging because, mm -hmm. particularly in the last. Uh, the last act, mm -hmm. um, because there's uh, there's a lot more action kind of involved in it. So, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, why do you think audiences should come and see this show? It's a it's a good story. It's mm -hmm. suspenseful. It'll be it'll be fun. It, you know, it'll be a fun hour hour and a half story. Now, I know that you guys are going to be doing a Friday morning show for the area school children. This is what I've heard. <laughs> so, uh, do you think that that particular audience is going to be different than your nighttime audiences? I suspect it will be. Good yes. or bad? Uh, well, um, probably just different. You know kids don't pay attention to Facebook, so they're not going to see this. <laughs> right. You don't want them booing Carlino. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, well, what... Have the audiences seen you in before in this area? Not very much. I was in Oklahoma. Um, I think I, I played a uh, slim. Uh, no, I wasn't slim. <laughs> I was Slim's sidekick, um, mm -hmm. whoever that was. Anyway, um, no, that, I haven't been in a play in a while. In yeah. a uh, decade <laughs> <laughs> or more. So, so after this show is finished, what's next for you? Uh, what's next for me? I think I'll rest. <laughs> I, I need downtime. You've been all stressed out over <laughs> Wait Until Dark. Right, exactly. Well, thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you in the show. Yeah, right.